All right, hello. I want to show you something I have been working on. It is based on the Jewel Thief and I call it a re-EMF uh, charger. You know what back EMF is if you have seen my previous video. Well, let's get to it. I will show it, explain it to you and I hope you have something uh, you can do with it. All right. <coughs> Well, this is the new schematic that I draw, have drawn for you, and it's called the re-EMF charger. What it can do, you can charge batteries, non-rechargeable batteries, uh, old lead acid batteries. It will give it back a kick, uh, just like the Bedini system does but it's uh, very 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 efficient and it works really fast all right so i will point it out with my pen i'm uh, filming this with a, a camera a photo camera so if it sucks <laughs> too bad you have to do it uh, with this all right this is my source uh, it's a 20 volt uh, dc current uh, what happens is the plus goes through the diode uh, to the battery that is to be charged in this case I say it's a 12 volt battery and I will explain you how to calculate well a 12 volt battery so the plus goes to the plus of the 12 volt battery the minus goes on towards the uh, coupling of the dual thief style uh, bifinal coil uh, it goes down one end into a resistor of 330 ohms uh, to a resistor variable of one kilo ohm into the base of a, a transistor NPN NE3055. All right, the other side goes through the coil into the collector of the NE3055 and back to the minus. Now, well, what happens here? You see, I have uh, made a connection and connected a diode back towards the plus of the battery what happens in the system this 12 volt divides itself over this battery so it delivers 12 volt to the battery 20 minus 12 uh, 8 volts remain 8 volts are placed over the circuit the joule thief circuit this actually is and what happens the 12 volt uh, uh, gets pulsed and the amps going in the first direction through the battery uh, is, is stored into the uh, uh, core of the dual thief and once uh, the uh, 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 the NPN transistor collapses again then the back EMF from this coil gets released over the same charging battery so what happens in the system is that you charge this battery with 12 volts and after uh, uh, the, uh, the transistor closes it discharges the power that remains here with a higher voltage over the battery, battery again. So what happens is that you get a charge 12 volts and about 200 volts but with a spike just like Bedini does. What happens is that this is way more efficient than anything I ever built. Before to charge batteries, you use your power twice. Once in the conventional sense, 12 volts, say 50 milliamps or 1 amp, it doesn't matter, you can uh, calculate how much uh, amps you want to draw. Uh, say 1 amp, one amp uh, the 1 amp and 8 volts is stored here. And once this uh, transistor closes, it uh, releases all that power, the 12 volts of uh, the 8 volts uh, with uh, uh, 1 amps, uh, so that's 8 watts uh, with a higher pulse, about 200 volts, over this battery again. So in one turn, you have two charging pulses. How do I get this 20 volt DC uh, um, uh, power supply? I simply took an AC power supply, about 12 volts. I made a, a bridge rectifier and I use a capacitor to equal the, the voltage out and this equals this schematic. So and why is this uh, uh, diode here? Well the whole dual thief system works with uh, very high back EMF pulses and what I have noticed is that uh, if you don't place this diode here 
then your uh, power supply might fry because you have such high spikes and a lot of power is transferred within this whole system so placing this diode just like here you can place it here if you place this diode over this power supply you don't blow, blow your power supply and what you can do you can charge your lead acid batteries really fast and even uh, old ones that are almost dead if you let it charge overnight over a couple of nights this one gets back to its previous state it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and what you can also do is charge non -re uh, rechargeable batteries uh, in this place and that also works the fun part is this doesn't heat up and why doesn't it heat up because you use pulse power you are pulsing this at a very high frequency about 10 to 20 kilohertz and this doesn't heat up so you got a pulse of 10 uh, 10 kilohertz through this normal you know, normally 12 volts at 1 amp and uh, if this collapses then this one kicks in and it gives back uh, like 200 volts in a Bedini style pulse back spike. This works like a charm. Build it, enjoy it, and let me know what you think about it. Alright, for now, Rene, that's me. Rene is out. Bye bye.